Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Hi, GI TV. I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand. I'm here with uh, Chris Costa. We've got Steven from Blue Force Gear. Now, there's a lot of new products here, but most specifically, we've got a new product between Costa Ludus and Blue Force Gear that's coming out. I'd, I'd like to hear you tell me a little bit about it. Well, just the fact that you have a microphone is impressive. I mean, it's a step notch above, above what we're normally used to dealing with. Well, what we tr decided to do is have a collaboration between the two companies to where we tried to create something that was um, Basically, a bag that could hold a firearm, which is nothing new, but be as discreet as possible. And, you know, a lot of people, when they look at this, it's kind of bizarre to them. Well, it's bizarre because it doesn't have molly and it's not in multicam, and uh, it doesn't have radio pouches all over it. And the thought process is, you know, to team up with Blue Force where the way they build things, the way they craft, some of the technology and, and fabrics that they have, that we could put something together that was, uh, uh, would create a very low signature. So Stephen can explain some of those attributes real quick. Uh, yeah, like Chris was saying, what we did is we wanted to mix uh, t the textiles that, and use uh, very modern components, stuff you'd find in the outdoor industry uh, from a company like Arcteryx, for example. Um, so you know we're using a, a very lightweight Cordura, which is a nice uh, finish to it. Uh, stretch fabric, four-way stretch tweave, um, Vizlon, uh, YKK's Vizlon zippers, and again, just combining all those different findings and textiles into something that's uh, just a little bit out of the ordinary, to be honest. You know, something that in our industry especially isn't going to say hey that guy's got a gun and that's that's really what we're going for i thought that was like a really good selling point because i thought like someone carry a bicycle helmet in there but you look inside there's all the velcro like you put anything in there like yeah, so it's stacked and he'll open it up but it's stacked you know for obviously a handgun your light spare mags so there's a lot of different things that you could put in there along with your ipad and other daily activities you know I'm a firm believer that you should try to carry the gun on you, and that's and, and and we believe in that. Carry the gun, keep it on you. However, certain certain dress, certain you know women, they just it's one of those things where you know depending upon how a woman's dressed, if she's wearing a skirt, if she's got a low cut shirt, you know maybe maybe she at least keeps her firearm in here. Maybe it's got a you know room for a baby bottle, and uh, it's as discreet as possible. There will be uh, other. The bags and the way they're going to do them is they're going to be done in a batch of limited editions. So what's going to end up happening is that creates more variety out on the street. So, you know, if you're walking down the street and you're a detective, you know, and for whatever reason you need to have a sub gun in here, you know, or an MP7, something very, very small, again, the bag is as discreet as possible for those particular users. Now, it may not be just for that, but remember, this may be the only primary method in which you're carrying that gun on you that particular day whether you're male or female, or maybe I carry my full-size gun in here, but I have a smaller, you know, 340 PD or something on me that, you know, I wish I had more firepower, but I don't have a place for it, you know what I mean? I know I'm gonna go in somewhere, and then I'm gonna come out, and it's gonna be nighttime. Well, I've got a Glock in here with an X300 on it, and I've got a handheld light as a backup, you know, so it's, again, it's, it's one of those things that what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it to where it does not scream gun. No matter what activity you do, the last thing you're going to think is that there's a firearm in there. Well, I wholeheartedly think you succeeded because when I came in here and I saw that, I was like, what is this doing in the Blue Force Gear booth? It doesn't look military at all. And the fact, I, I heard you guys designed this specifically around the MP7 style of gun. Well, we designed it for a lot of different things. We designed it to where it could because there are certain user groups that utilize that particular weapon. Um, but as what we're looking at is for most most of anybody else's applications you can you can utilize this and maximize the amount of room that's in there depending upon what type of system that you actually have so we want uh, when we were designing yeah the, the mp7 was the basic footprint that we went after it's like it's got to at least fit that on the subgun side of things which also lets you fit a tmp uzi you know all those all that class of uh of, of submachine gun and then obviously a uh, handgun's going to fit uh, perfectly as well uh, now, I also noticed that you have like a, a side-mounted pouch that you can switch to either side, correct? Absolutely. It's ambidextrous, and then not only that, but the, what they did was they built it big enough to, to put in most large-frame guns, even, even with a light. And then not only that, but they've also got their Velcro system in there as well, so if you need a stack cell phone or other little pouches. And the cool thing is, is that, as you've seen with their normal line of gear that they have, it's compatible with that. So it's not like something where you gotta now buy proprietary, you know, uh, pouches and things to interface with this pack. A lot of, you know, a lot of the uh, users of Blue Force Gear already, they already have these things. So the cool thing is they can throw in some of their other packs that are in here, 
they've got the Velcro on them, so it'll inter interface really, really well, so you don't have to buy more unless you really want to and you don't want to split your kit up. That's, that's a nice feature to have, not spend too much money. And one of the other things that they're going to do with these batches, as an example, you know, you might end up seeing this with like multi-cam, DE, and orange zippers. And we would look at that going like, whoa, orange zippers, what? wait a minute, that's that's not, you know, where's my radio pouch, where's my grenade pouch, where's my flashbang pouch, and it, like, it won't make sense, but, you know, it's, um, the great thing is, is they've got a really good key on the industry in regards to also fashion and fashion overseas, so there's certain, you know, there's certain camouflages right now that are very, very popular, so if you tweak little things, you can actually take it and not just make it, you know, this backpack, but it's kind of more designerish too, with an actual purpose, so that's uh, some of the other things that you may see coming in some of the batches where you're like, I don't understand why would they put orange zippers because if they put black zippers on it or tan, it would have been perfect and it would have been a perfect camouflage pack. Well, it's to add a little bit of that fashion dimension in there as well. Yeah, the whole point is to hide it in plain sight, essentially. Yep. Yeah, if we made a multi-cam bag with brown zippers, everybody's got a military pack. Yeah. Gun. If you throw orange zippers onto a multi-cam pack, it's like, uh, oh, that must be from North Face or, you know, some kind of uh, outdoor brand. Absolutely. Well, uh, we're really excited about this. Uh, we in the airsoft industry carry, you know, a lot of products from Blue Force Gear, and uh, I'm hoping that maybe you guys will have some more products in addition to work together in the future. I, th I, I think it will, and I think what you'll see is over a progression of time, this thing's going to morph into, you know, constant improvements as we go, and that's the great thing about working with, you know, um, smaller companies, and I don't mean small in, in regards to disrespectful, I just mean small in regards to ability to maneuver, you know what I mean? Blue Force obviously has a very big presence within the industry, but where they're small is that ability to maneuver and, and they're very, very nimble in the cadre of individuals where where we can make quick decisions and if we need to change a zipper, we can change it. If we need to add to it, we can add to it. It doesn't have to go to a board, a, a group of people to make that decision. It's a couple phone calls and then the good thing is is that all the users end up reaping the benefits from that so we can continue to excel the product. Well, Chris Costa, Stephen, thank you so much. I know you guys don't have a lot of time, but we really appreciate you being here to tell us about this new pack coming out. And I got to tell you, uh, a lot of us in our airsoft industry are huge fans of yours, especially this fellow standing right here. So thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. You Absolutely. Stephen, God bless America. Thanks.